you guys really want to change the world you want to change the way people act you want to change your loved ones health habits you have to change yourself first you have to lead by example and you can't tell them what to do you can't command things you have to lead from the front you have to take extreme ownership of the situation and you have to be in shape yourself you know too many people are too quick to point out flaws in other people and point out other people's shortcomings they're not taking ownership of their own health so the more healthy you get the more people see you day in day out handling your business taking care of what you need to they're going to respect you and listen to you it's really that simple people don't care about what you do what you say they care about how you make them feel and you've got to see people at their highest potential you've got to see them in your mind at their highest potential and you got to conduct yourself in the highest possible manner everything the going to bed never missing workouts always showing up ready to do the housework bring in the groceries all that stuff that's the test of a true man are you constantly useful are you useful are you energetic are you not a liability you know are you a liability to the ones you love can they not count count on you or are you just dead weight like they got to worry about your health they got to worry about if you're going to do something stupid they got to worry about you having a heart attack because you're overweight and you just do stupid crap all weekend you're not healthy like people don't think about this stuff they just think that you know people owe them something and that there's just no accountability in this world. People just want to point and say that it, it's everyone else's fault. It's McDonald's fault that they're fat. It just, it's totally bonkers. You know, McDonald's can be there. That's your choice to drive through the drive-thru. You, you don't have to go through the drive-thru and eat McDonald's every day. But it should still be there because you have freedom of choice. These people don't even know, they like to point out all these flaws, but they don't even have a solution. They just say everything is wrong. It's like, okay, then what's your idea? What are you going to do to make it better? They don't even know. They don't even know what they're talking about. They have all these college degrees, and all they do is just point out problems. They just go, oh, this is bad. This is bad. Yeah, well, what are you doing about it? You're drinking every weekend, you're overweight. Are you really setting a good example for people living in this world? Like all of you is complain and type on a keyboard. Like you don't actually do anything. When you're actually healthy and you actually treat your body right and you walk every day and you lift weights and you help people in real life when you see them, you open doors for people, you help your family move if they need to move. You, you keep yourself healthy so you're able to help other people. That's actually helping the world. Not, you know, pointing at posting something and typing some words and pretending that you care so much about these problems that you really don't care about. You just want to post about it so people give you a like and it makes you feel good about yourself, you know, and it makes you feel superior to other people, but you haven't done anything. You literally haven't done anything and you just sit in your house and you're unhealthy, you don't get sunlight, you don't actually try to help anybody. You just wanna have that false sense of, you know, heightened social status. You just wanna get that easy dopamine hit and feel like you're doing all these big things. But you're not actually out there in the field. You're not actually out there making changes with your bare hands. So that's that's what people, just getting in shape. You are so helpful to humanity. You are so helpful. You can help people move stuff. You can protect somebody if, if somebody's trying to hurt them. You know, you, you're, a, you're physically able. And then you don't have to wait. You don't have to rely on other people to help you. 
you know, because you decided to neglect your health, you decided not to take care of yourself. Now you expect other people to take care of you, right? And, and you just, oh, I, they owe it to me. They have to do it. That's people's mentality. It's, it's rotten. You should be in your best physical shape as much as you can. I understand some people have worse genetics than others and they just don't have certain capabilities. You know, and everybody likes to point out the outliers. I'm talking about the vast majority of people have their limbs, they have, their systems are operating, but they choose to overconsume calories, not do strength training, and they choose to be a liability to the ones they love. And you can say I'm an asshole for saying all this, but who's the bigger asshole? The person that's fat and diabetic that makes their family and loved ones worry about them every time they walk up and down a flight of stairs or me that refuses to be unhealthy takes care of himself so I can help others and I can set a good example it's just we live in a clown world like nothing makes sense so you really want to change the world you have all these big aspirations you know start with making your bed clean your room Clean your car, help others, help your family. Just be a solid person, be a healthy person, be optimistic. Don't be late to work, don't be late to your appointments, all these kinds of things. This, this is what changes the world. You wanna change the world, change yourself.